Three rules every Valorant player should follow in order to improve faster while learning to enjoy the game in the process. The one strike rule is very simple and all it comes down to is giving every individual on your team one chance. In Valorant, if you access your menu, you have the option to mute any player on your team and what I want you to do is to give every player on your team one chance no matter what. If they show any signs of toxicity or negativity in your game, you instantly mute their text and voice communication. This might seem weird at first and you might be thinking that you're missing out on important information. Let me tell you that you're not missing out on anything. You get a lot of information in Valorant, the minimap, pings, agent voice lines and other players that you haven't muted. This is enough to get you through a game. It keeps your mind clear so you can focus on the actual match itself. Act as if the person you muted doesn't exist and let them go on with their day. Why is this rule so important? It's important because in order for you to improve and play a lot of Valorant, you need to stay focused and mentally strong without being affected by factors that shouldn't matter in the first place. There's a quote that changed the way I think around toxicity in games when personally trying to climb as high as possible and I want to share it with you. Let's say you have $86,400 and someone stole $10 from you. Would you be so upset that you throw the balance of $86,390 away just to get back at the person that took the 10? Or would you just get on with life? Of course, realize that the 10 is really nothing in the bigger picture and you can choose to move on. We have 86,400 seconds in every day, so don't let someone's negative 10 seconds ruin the rest of the 86,390 remaining seconds. Don't sweat the small stuff, life is bigger than that. And of course, this is something that we can apply to Valorant. Don't let someone's toxicity and negativity ruin your entire day. Losing one game of Valorant or dealing with one toxic person isn't something that should ruin your entire day or your entire session. We need to learn how to ignore these people and move on with our lives. The two loss rule. This rule is very simple and it is to take a break after you've had two losses in a row. Often enough, I see players just queuing non-stop until they have to log out. They don't take any extended breaks and this makes you lose focus. When you mindlessly queue, you start autopiloting and you stop thinking about the game. The key to this rule is to leave your PC and standing up. How long you take the break for is something that you'll have to decide for yourself. However, let me give you an idea of what worked for me and other professional players that I've worked with in the past. Going outside for a walk and taking in some fresh air, listening to some music and trying not to think about the matches in order for you to come back with a fresh mind. It doesn't have to be a very long one either, it's up to you. Sometimes 10 minutes is enough, sometimes it's 30 minutes. Adapt to your situation and what you feel is best for yourself. Something as simple as leaving your room in order to grab a glass of water can be enough. Again, you'll have to adapt to your current situation. As long as you stand up and leave the PC, you'll be fine. When you're done with your break, you'll come back to your setup and ready to play. Forget about the losses and start with a full mental reset. What happened in the past doesn't matter anymore and you can fully focus on what comes next. Quality over quantity. One of the biggest reasons why people struggle to climb is because they queue up and play without any goals in mind. It can be simple goals in a match, such as improving and thinking of your utility usage, practicing good communication with your teammates through the voice chat and through the ping system. There's a lot to work on and these are examples of what you can do. Playing a lot of games in a single session without learning anything is counterproductive and it won't help you with your climb at all. It hinders your progress and you'll improve at a much slower rate. It goes hand in hand with the previous rule and what I want you to do is to divide your games into sessions of three. This allows you to learn much quicker as you will be focusing on your games with something in mind and you will start to enjoy Valorant more regardless of the outcome. You'll be making decisions with proper intention which you can learn from afterwards instead of autopiloting and not knowing if the decisions you made was right or wrong. A loss is a win as long as you learn something. If you felt like this video was valuable, feel free to join my Discord with the link in the description below. I'm always super happy to talk about the game and give my insight on certain things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.